Hello everyone. In this video here I'll be doing a demonstration on how to test the crank sensor on your Volvo T5 motor. Now what I have here is a 96 Volvo 850 uh, with a turbocharged 5 cylinder. Now basically for the location of your uh, crank position sensor itself, uh, it's located here's your distributor. This is on the driver side of the motor. Now this may uh, vary between uh, right hand drive vehicles. I'm not exactly sure uh, how the position of the motor is itself. It'll go straight down here. You have your uh, coolant hose, and it'll just be right past this coolant hose in there. Now it can be a little harder to see here. Now, uh, just a little bit of a reference here. This is your plug uh, for the cam sensor itself, and then right below it here is where your crank sensor is. You see, I already have it unplugged here. Now, just a two-prong plug. Now, in order to remove this plug here, the actual uh, side of the plug itself which goes directly to the sensor uh, unplugs from the bracket. Uh, it's uh, opposite than compared to what the cam sensor is and it works as basically the same principle here. I can't, it's a little harder to see but you just uh, just squish this uh, little tab and basically pull the plug out itself. Now when testing the plug itself, basically what you have here is I have a multimeter and I have it on the ohm setting here. I'll have it to the uh, 1000 increment on the setting itself. Now as for the leads itself, you just want to basically touch them inside the plug here. Now it doesn't matter which one is positive and negative, you'll get the same reading either way. And it, for what the reading we should be expecting is anywhere from 200 to 500 ohms. Now if this uh, is out of the reading range itself, uh, the sensor is obviously bad and needs to be replaced on the vehicle. Now when I stick the leads in the plug itself, you can just see what the reading I'm getting here. It's a 297 ohms. Now this is uh, between what the given specs are of uh, what the sensor should read. Now as mentioned earlier, the sensor on this particular vehicle here does meet within the requirements. Uh, therefore we won't be replacing the sensor itself. Now if you are replacing the sensor itself, uh, the only thing you'll actually need to remove it is, uh, is a uh, 10 mil, I found a wrench actually fits in there, not too bad. It's a fairly tight space to get in there. All it has is just actually uh, one bolt uh, closest to us here and the sensor is over on the other side. And simply what we want to do, just take this bolt out and the sensor itself just slides out of the casting and that's all that there is to it. Now this concludes my tutorial video. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to post them below. Also rate this video and please subscribe to my channel for further uh, tutorial videos. Thank you for watching.